Hello there, I'm Colonel Fader and we're in country in Vietnam 65. It's a new game, a uh, new uh, war game, kind of lightweight compared to some of the heavier ones out there. Uh, it's pretty strategic in nature. I've played maybe ooh, an hour, I guess, of the um, uh, of the tutorial and, and just generally had a bit of a poke around. So I don't consider myself a veteran by any stretch of the imagination yet, so we're going to go in as regular. Uh, keep it nice and straightforward. Okay, our objective is relatively straightforward. Um, we're going to uh, start out on the uh, the eastern side of the map here, over on our our kind of forward base of operations, and uh, and try and win the hearts and minds of local villages, indicated by these uh, Vietnamese flags, and drive out Viet Cong and NVA units wherever they come up. So uh, let's not muck around. Let's get on with it. So up the top here, we've got the hearts and minds kind of meter uh, for for how well we're doing, generally speaking. And uh, if we get to 60 plus, then there is broad US sentiment uh, on the map. And uh, and as such, we're doing well. If it drops below 40, then uh, the North Vietnamese kind of influence is, uh, is kind of starting to swamp things a little and we'll, uh, we'll quickly get overrun. So... Uh, as expected, you know we're uh, we're largely going to be based off uh, air cavalry. Uh, so on this first go, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna grab grab some lads here. Moving to LZ. Smashing right, got the infantry, and uh, and we're just going to go and in, we're going to go talk to some locals. Because they'll either give us information or we'll try and uh, win them over. Moving to LZ. Now every Moving unit has uh, a certain number of supplies indicated by the five, so they've got five of five supplies at the moment. Every turn that they're out and about. Moving out. Village uncooperative. In an uncooperative village. No. Can't have it all. Um, yeah, every turn that they're out and about, they use up supplies. Uh, helicopters, by comparison, use uh, use up fuel. They have four fuel in total. Inbound to LZ. And so we're going to want them to uh, to head back to base on a regular basis in order to uh, refuel. Aircraft on route. Unit on route. So while that helicopter is back in that base, it will refuel if it's got a, a full turn in there. Uh, now, my Green Berets here are uh, absolutely hot stuff at scouting. Moving to LZ. Uh, they have a, a, a far greater sight line than uh, any other unit that I've got. So I'm going to go and use them to... Uh, Unit moving to coordinates. Scout further afield for now. Uh, they can also create local uh, local trained South Vietnamese forces who will fight on our behalf, but only when in a in a firebase. How much range have you got left? I don't think you've got. No, you've already had your go, haven't you? Okay. Okay, that'll that'll wrap it up for this first turn. Uh, so this engineering unit that I've got here, I can move further out to uh, to create additional bases uh, from which I can stage further operations. But to be honest, I probably I, I don't want to build that too close to uh, to home because otherwise it doesn't serve much purpose. Largely, I want to use that to uh, uh, <clears throat> to to give myself another refueling. Point for uh, and resupply point. So down here would probably be a good place for one, and up here would probably be a good place for another. Anyway, that'll wrap up Some the first turn. No orders. We're okay, right? Okay. So at the end of each turn, you'll get to see the map. I mean, I can call it up any time I like, but if local villagers have given me any information, uh, it will show up on the map at this time. Right then, let's uh, let's get my last infantry unit in play. Inbound to LZ. Unit moving out. Now, obviously, these guys can't drop off in uh, in the jungle because there's no place Unit for them to land. Out. Unit moving to coordinates. 
So they're in the jungle approaching that village. They didn't actually get all the way there. Unit moving out. Unit moving to coordinates. Unit en route. No new intel. And you can also see with the green barrows that they've got uh, uh, far greater supply available to them. Uh, over at the top here, we're, we've also got political support. Um, if we're doing reasonably well, uh, everything that we do that is a positive move will gain political support, which will allow us to bring in more units. And in fact, I might just... I might buy another unit now, or will I? No, I will get the engineer role in though. Unit moving to coordinates. And, you know, we can bring in uh, anything from, uh, well, I'll show you. Here we go. So we can bring in Cobras, we can bring in Chinooks, uh, you know, tanks, APCs, more more infantry. But the, the, the main problem with it is the cost goes up every time you, uh, you bring one in. So the cost will increase. Um, at this stage, that's not too much of a problem. I don't have many resources. Alright, we'll send that infantry out next time. Do I want anything else? That'll probably be okay. Because I'm not entirely sure how that... Each, uh, each setup is completely randomised. Uh, so it's... Uh, you know, you're not entirely sure what you're going to expect. Now, the, the the Vietnamese units themselves, they they move slightly differently, or they work slightly differently. So, at the end of every turn, uh, they disband, no matter whether they were successful or not. Right, let's get you into this village. Unit en route. Contact. Village uncooperative. There we go. And they've, they've spotted some, but we've got Unit to drop on them. Enemy neutralized. Okay, so as you can see, wiping out that enemy unit there bought us some extra political support, which is very handy. Unit moving to coordinates. But fundamentally, the uh, the Vietnamese forces are unlimited in number. They, if they uh, if they do a positive action from their perspective, whereby they uh, they cause trouble to me and uh, me and my boys, uh, they will gain the ability to. Uh, Unit moving to coordinates drop additional units into the game and they also have the uh, have the ability to uh, to set up ambushes which is uh, unit moving out. something I can also do but their ambushes often involve RPGs deliberately set up to uh, to make mincemeat of my uh, uh, of, of my helicopters which you know I'm using all the time and therefore is uh, not ideal. Hold on. Right, let's uh, go pick these. Uh, do I want to pick them up first? Or? Unit en route. Yeah, let's go pick them up. Unit en route. Moving to LZ. Okay, right, well. Let's go as far as we can in this way. Unit moving out. This is slightly more risky. I've not yet had a map of this kind where you've got effectively half of the, the well, I mean, we've got three villages here that are through so much jungle that uh, it's going to be a complete headache to get to. Unit moving and one out. thing I can do with my engineer unit is I can uh, I can tell it to uh, to bulldoze jungle, I can tell it to make roads, and while that's helpful, it does use up political capital to do so. But right now, I'm... Uh, you've done your thing, you've done your thing. Unit moving out. No, 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 no. Unit moving that's out. It. Okay, yep, yeah, right. That'll do it for this turn. Now, this howitzer here, fantastic piece of artillery, uh, isn't going to do me any Some good no until I move it further up. And I can only move it from base to base. Okay, so this blue crate that we've got going on here indicates that those guys want some uh, want some supplies. So I'll probably drop that in now. I'm going to leave them in there for the moment. Unit moving to coordinates. There we go. So these guys have just turned out to be relatively pro-American, hence the the flag going on there. And 
that's positive. There we go. So we'll send these uh, this Huey out to resupply my infantry over there. And that'll keep them set for another few turns. Right, you drop off. Moving to LZ. And then bail back out again. I mean, as war games go, it's relatively lightweight. Uh, but so far, I've actually quite enjoyed it. Um, where should we drop? Let's, uh, let's drop here. They're going to want supplies almost immediately, so I'll uh, I'll get those. What have we got? Three fuel. Yeah. Resupply mission commenced. So he's now issued orders. I mean, they they will take longer than a turn to complete, but he'll keep running until he's completed those orders. Unit moving to coordinates. Unit en route. AC spotted. No new intel. Oh. VC hiding in the uh, paddy field there. Unit moving to coordinates. All and clear in this sector. New intel report. There we go. So we've spotted some more guys in the trees there. And uh, I think we'll use our airstrike on now. So the uh, airstrike's going to be called every five turns. Uh, equally, we've also got the air supply, so we can drop supplies to units automatically, but that uses uh, a healthy amount of your uh, political support to do so. So it's something to use relatively sparingly. Right, as you can see, the infantry before cost me 1000 It will now cost me 1250 to get some more in. Uh, let's, uh, let's get ourselves another Huey. What have you got? Three. You've got five. You've got five as well. Let's Unit go to here. It's, it's high risk. The Green Berets aren't really uh, cut out for, for heavy combat. They are, you know, literally just a, a scout unit. Unit en route. But what I found in, in playing through previously is that supplies are absolutely critical. Um... Ah, uh, what about another engineer? It's expensive. Hmm. Yeah, let's get a second engineer rolling. Because uh, the other thing that engineers can do is they can refuel, they can repair. Uh, the, there are many useful things that these guys can get up to. And I think... Unit moving out. Construct and road. We're going to start building a road. Uh, it may or may not be a, a sensible move Unit on my part. Route. But uh, but frankly, I'd rather have it. Right, Some let's... Uh, have no orders. Let's crack on. Okay, so we've spotted another uh, VC unit there. Now, as, uh, as your units actually become successful, so once they start taking down... Um, enemy units, they actually earn experience, which makes them more helpful. Right, I'm going to take you off Unit requests resupply. the resupply mission. Unit I'll send out a fresh helicopter with that. Embarking supplies. He's not going to get there in one turn, but that's okay. Hopefully, he won't run into any anti air. Construct and road. Unit en route. Data resupply on this so unit. So previously, he would, they had a 71% chance. Now they've got a 72% chance of wiping these guys out. Unit en route. That doesn't Target mean that anything that, you know, for Intel report. anything automatic. Hmm, okay, that's not ideal. Slightly worrying, and I'm, it means I'm putting this this engineer in harm's way. So I'm going to ease him forward just a little, and hope uh, hope nothing too uh, too bad comes out of the uh, out of the jungle. Unit en route. Unit requests resupply. Unit en route. 
Alright, so all my helicopters are currently refueling. I could buy myself a Cobra to go after those guys. Equally, I, actually, I don't think they are in range of my artillery. No. So here's the artillery range. Artillery can't move on its own. It either needs to be towed by a by an uh, an APC, or you can uh, you can airlift it as well. But obviously, until I've got another base up, I can't airlift it at all. Unit requests resupply. Unit en route. I've got eight thousand. I'm, no, I'm not going to buy anything else yet because I don't know what I need. Uh, you've done your thing. That's good. What about you? Unit moving to Let's see if I can get any intel out of the village. Some units have no orders. All right. So, yeah, as you can see here, we've got another North Vietnamese flag kind of turned up there. Uh, it's only little, but I'm sure you can make it out. And what that basically means is enemy activity was spotted there. Doesn't mean there's anybody there now, but it does mean that they were spotted. And frankly, leaving those guys to uh, to you know do what they like when they feel like it, uh, it undermines the hearts and minds progress that we're making. So previously we were on 53, now we're down to 52. Unit requests resupply. Okay, Unit these guys are desperately short of supplies, so let's uh, let's get them sorted. Resupply mission commenced. That's good. I ought to move them on from there in a minute. Data resupply on this unit ASAP. Unit en route. Village okay. uncooperative. This guy's also on a, a resupply mission, but that's Carrying fine. Carrying out orders. Uh, we'll take unit him back that way. I've already moved that. Now, I'm going to keep units stationed in villages a bit, uh, as, as much as I can. Uh, it does help keep them largely on our side. Not brilliantly, but it will uh, it will help. So we can either build a, a forward base, which is slightly small, uh, or a fire base, which actually has some some resupplyability to it. So we'll go and stick that in there. There we go. So there are you know there are supplies in this base, or this base automatically receives supply drops, which means that I can use it for a, uh, a resupply area closer to the front. That said, the whole thing is the front, you know, there is no, uh, Unit moving to court. there is no real safe place. Uh, and what I'll also do is I'm going to send, Unit moving to court. send one of my Hueys out to, uh, use that as their new headquarters and I'm also going to go pick up these guys I think Unit moving to coordinates. so you have to move them out of the village to pick them up because otherwise there's moving nowhere for your helicopters to land Unit moving to coordinates. <coughs> excuse me all right good some units have no orders All right, so checking for activity, nothing to report so far. We've still got the kind of, you know, we saw stuff happening here going on at, uh, at this village, um, but there hasn't been any activity there in a little while, so I don't feel too bad about that. Unit moving out. Construct and road. Okay, terrific. Right, uh, those guys will keep in there because they've only just arrived. These chaps, I want to go help out the uh, the green berets. Unit moving out. Moving to LZ. And then once you're done, you Unit can go back into there. To no, 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 you're fine. How many, how many have you got left? Two, that's plenty. Unit moving to head, head back to the firebase. You also need a resupply. 
Where are you heading? Are you heading anywhere good? Pre-supply mission commenced. And then what I'll also do, if I've got a, a Huey nearby, now you're refueling, okay, fine, is I'll uh, I'll get our uh, our howitzer. Inbound to LZ. Situated a little bit near uh, a hot zone. Unit on and the howitzer can be tremendously powerful. All right, so the hearts and minds rating currently up to 53. I'm going to buy some more infantry here, I think. And we'll uh, we'll walk them down this road in behind the engineer. We'll take them into this village there in the next turn. Okay, that'll wrap it up for this time. Um, uh, obviously, it's a turn-based game. Each, t each game lasts uh, 45 minutes. Uh, 45 minutes? 45 turns. Um... After which uh, your your victory or failure is uh, largely indicated by where the hearts and minds meter has has reached by that point. So it's not a case of victory is only assured once you've wiped everything out, because there is nothing to wipe out. The every unit that you come across is set up on the turn that you face it. Um, what do you think? Are you enjoying this playthrough? I've still got a little way to go before I feel completely. Au fait with uh, with talking you through it, but uh, let me know what you think. Would you like to see more? Thanks very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll catch up with you very soon. Cheerio.